you talk about a big play guy. That, that would be my nickname for him. Watch out right here. Reggie Corbin. Across the 50, Reggie Corbin. He's been doing this all season long. Touchdown, Illinois. 72 yards. So second career start for Morgan, and it begins with a run on the ground by Muhammad Ibrahim, who missed last week, but forced the duck. Good space for Ibrahim. And he'll be a yard shy. Give him nine. Tyler Johnson, watch out for the slants. Good as wide receivers in the league. And speaking of Tyler Johnson, first down across the 50. And Seth Green in at quarterback. They put him in often for the Wildcat. But he hands it off to Ibrahim. This also be four down territory. We'll see right now third and three. Up the middle, they don't have to worry about four down territory. Ibrahim with a first down, but that was a run last week that once they got to the second level, Maryland with the distance. Ahmed Ibrahim, the red shirt freshman. They'll get another crack at it. No, keeping it. How about that? Morgan. And Green's going to keep. Takes Minnesota into the red zone with a five yard gain. Morgan back out there with the option play. He opts to keep it, and he's tackled after a four-yard pickup. Trips to the right. Ibrahim between the tackles and down inside the five. Allen scored last week. They didn't score any from the red zone. Yeah, that's exactly right. They were all long plays, but this is a red zone touchdown for Minnesota and Muhammad Ibrahim is out for a second consecutive game with a right foot injury. Dre Brown breaks free! Are you kidding me? They had a 72-yard touchdown run by Reggie Corbin, and that one is 72 yards by Dre Brown. So does Minnesota have a counter? Try a little screen out to Rashad Bateman. Everybody rushed the backfield, coach. They all went for Bryce Williams, and that opened up a 12-yard pick. Ibrahim. You believe that was only their fifth play from scrimmage, and they already have two touchdowns. Now a pass, and that's complete to Stampley. Last week, he had touchdowns of 61 and 84 yards, Stampley, and this play is blown up in the backfield. Stampley in motion. Throwing it out to Stampley, and he's swung out of bounds around the 42. Makes the give and throws it out to Ottman Bell. 60-year-old Lovey Smith on the other sideline. Reggie Corbin. Man, he is fun to watch, isn't he? Go! This time a throw and a quick one. Going down to grab it. Completion by Ricky Smalling, the sophomore from Chicago Myth in his first season. They need two yards. That'll do it. Into the red zone. Someday we will be. After the Caleb Reams catch, they go back to the ground. Corbin dragged to the ground from behind. Was four for four last week at Maryland. It's gone, it's gone. And knocks that through, no problem. Play clock at one, gets it off, and keeps it. And has a big hole to pick up the first down and a little extra. Across the 40. But this is a passing play. Did he stay in bounds? Yes, Tyler Johnson with a reception. No, he gives it. Ibrahim sneaks in. Touchdown, Minnesota. So both go for touchdowns, have gone to the redshirt freshman from Olney, Maryland, Muhammad Ibrahim. 72 yard touchdown runs for Illinois. One by Corbin, one by Brown. A little hesitation by Trent Dre Brown, speaking of him, and he brings it out.
And it turns out to be a good decision. He and Corbin in the backfield. This time, a little bit of a different look as they completed out to Stampley. So Bush kept it. Jersey pull, but he got beat badly. Another play action throw and a completion. And Ricky Smalling is off to the races. Gets by Jacob Huff and gets into the end zone for a 67 yard score. As Illinois takes back over on offense, and Smalling, who had the 67 yard touchdown catch, gets a smaller one of eight yards there. A lot better than I anticipated. Because Rivers is billed as the passer and Bush the runner. Corbin will be swallowed up to bring up third down. Blake Cashman and Winston Delatabonaire with a tackle. Just got it off at one. Going deep. Johnson jumps. Who's got it? They say it is a catch by Tyler Johnson, a 31-yard pickup for a first down. I'd watch Tyler Johnson on the slant. Morgan under pressure. And sacked. Not if you miss it. Fourth and 13 for Morgan. Underneath, a pass. So Illinois gets the stop. Hit him with a run. One timeout, you can't do it. So they're going to try and throw. Oh, my goodness. Somehow he threw it up and it got intercepted. Just off his back foot. Tenth field goal he's made this season. Well, do we have any fireworks left for the final six seconds? Dre Brown back deep to return it, and they're just going to squib it. I think Minnesota might have recovered this. Yes, they did. Now, there's only four seconds. You don't have any timeouts, and you're right around your own 45. They try to get it to Johnson, and he's tackled immediately. Nate Hobbs coming up to make a nice play. A loss of three. Seven-yard gain, and this one is just a straight run for Bush. But Minnesota's defense was there leading the way. Carter Coughlin, one of the boys from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Better know where he is in a passing situation. Third and five. Bush escapes. He's going to take off and get it. Good recognition by the senior from Alpharetta, Georgia. Second and ten. Quarterback draw. And a big hole there for Bush. 30, 20. Ten down around the five yard line so first and goal he keeps again and he fumbled it but Illinois is saying they recovered and they do play clock at two they say he got it off he keeps and he scores touchdown AJ Bush and Good sign as Ibrahim is back as the lead blocker there for Green as he gets it to the 30 and he fumbled it. <laughs> Illinois says they have it. They do. Defensively, you get sudden change defense. See if they take a shot. You always say this is a good place to do it. Underneath, wide open, Daniel Barker. 10 5, touchdown. The freshman tight end. 30 yards out. You gotta get something going. Off the play fake. Morgan steps up, taken down. Corbin, look out! Look out! Reggie Corbin! With Bush leading the way! Get out of the way, Bush! Touchdown! Up the middle. And he lost it. No signal. Illini. Yep. Illinois football. Jake Hansen. 
That defense is awesome. Another example of how today. Look out, Reggie Corbin. Reggie Corbin. Ooh. Turf Monster got him as he tried to cut back. Cars or mattresses, furniture, I don't remember what it was. Pistol formation here. Dre Brown. Third and two for Illinois. Bush trying to take off. And he'll be stopped dead in his tracks right around the 30. You know he's going to have the leg. And he's got the accuracy as well. The injured player was Kenyon Jackson. He went off for Illinois. And now the next play completion to Rashad Bateman. And Rashad Bateman inside the 10 and into the end zone for the Golden Gophers. So now Bush gets the start here and has his best performance of the season. And he keeps and shows again what he can do with his legs. He's up over 100 yards on the ground. Bush keeps. Look at that move. Look at A.J. Bush. Touchdown, Illinois. He's done it all today. He is throwing. Pockets clean. Nowhere to go. And he's taken down from behind. Morgan. Completes it to Bateman, and Bateman breaks free. It's a foot race. He will win all the way to the end zone for Minnesota, 86 yards. But here, it's Lovey Smith's crew dominating Minnesota. The best performance that Illinois has had all year. They win it 55-31 over Minnesota.